G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we're back, finally back, for another day in the Mega City series. Did have to take a bit of a hiatus there for a little bit, because I was crook as a dog, I was very nearly cactus, a little bit touch and go there for a little bit, but we're finally back, after a bit of a break, ready to take it on again. But real quick, a massive thank you to everyone who waited around and stuck by me while I was off trying to get back on my legs again. It was, uh, it was not a lot of fun. I was still a little bit sick. I got a bit of a chest thing going on. A bit of a sore throat. My voice is a bit raspy, but it's fine. It's fine. I couldn't hold off anymore. I missed you guys too much. But we're back again. Coming back after doing my due diligence. While I was away, I did go and do some research about where I wanted to spend all of my skill points. Either trying to max out my agility tree or spending it into intellect to finally get myself the motorcycle. It's been annoying me for so bloody long. Turns out, I don't have enough points to even get to max level agility. It's way too expensive even for now for me to afford level 10. So instead, I'm going to dive right into it. Uh, what level do I want to get up to? I can't get up to gyrocopter. I don't think I can get up to 4x4. I think motorcycle is the only one I can afford to get to. So level 6, let's spend some points in them. Level 6, uh, and where are you? Grease Monkey, that one, that one, that one. All of my points are gone. I can finally build myself a motorcycle, though. Now, if I find a motorcycle schematic today, I'm going to jump out of my building. I'm actually going to get that crafted away nice and early. I'm going to take two minutes a pop. What do you actually need? A bunch of steel, which I spent a lot actually upgrading my horde base, which would be a problem, but that's fine. We'll manage. Bunch of steel, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, all sorts of stuff. Right. Got the steel, which is good. I need both kinds of parts. Where's the electrical ones? They're just there. I always lose them somehow. Always the hardest for me to find. Uh, and duct tape, I assume. Or we got the duct tape. What was the other part? Leather. Got all of that. You. What are you missing? Just the headlight. And we're ready to rock and roll. Nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Before midday today, we're going to be cruising around on a dinosaur guzzling hog. It's going to be great. I'll admit, I haven't had a cup of coffee in like a week. I'm not even sure how I'm still alive with my caffeine system not up to par, but I'm doing my best. So I'm going to use that as an excuse for... I don't want to build you in there, do I? For every time I forget what the heck I'm supposed to be doing, I know I have a long track record of already being bad at that, but any excuse I can get to try and shelve some blame, I'm going to take advantage of that. God damn, I want a cup of coffee. I do like that I'm going to be going down and building my horde base in that little patch of wasteland just there, because I do have this entire desert city out here ready to be plundered. I've got my... My base, what have we got? Like my cathedral base, I suppose, waiting for me over there. That's a good spot to be, right smack dab in the middle of town. Already gone through most of this joint already, so that's less tempting. But I reckon there's more up to the north of there as well. So lots of options for me to go and scavenge around and find what I need. I've got a fair bit of concrete. Not that much, but some. Look at it, I've got like 3,000. That's enough for, what, 300 blocks? Which is probably enough to make a pretty decent horde base. I don't really build massive, gigantic, like, citadel bases because it's a waste of materials. I try and build it as efficiently as I can with as few blocks as I can. Taking that into consideration, I reckon 3,000 is probably near enough enough. But I need some more cobblestone. So that should probably be one of my main focuses today. And with a new motorcycle, being able to get around faster as well, means I can come back and get this governs when I need it later. Yeah, now nah, I stand by all of my decisions, despite them probably being the worst ones. I'll grab some wheels. I'll grab my worst battery. How many batteries do I have, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six exactly. Wouldn't mind some better ones. The T1s and 2s and 3s, actually, could probably all go to the scrap heap. But a T6, very good. I do want to run some powered stuff for my new horde base when I build it down in the wasteland as well. So that's definitely going to come in handy. But I'll use the worst one to make the motorcycle, which is almost ready to go. Is that all I need for it? I need an engine as well. Do I not have an engine? Wait, what? Seriously? How do I not have an engine? I thought I had... Bountiful harvest of all the vehicle parts I was ever going to need. Ah. Alright, that is a pretty reasonably sized spanner. All up in me gears. Hmm. Shit. Okay, I might need to quickly go head out on the town and break down a bunch of cars that I can find. Damn it me. I thought I had everything prepared. Alright, well, let's get going. Let's go find something to tear apart. I haven't had super good luck finding engines in the past. Normally, it... Oh, 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 never mind. Normally, it takes a lot of hard work and hard yakka earning yourself a cold frothy or 20 just to find one of those bad boys. But there it is. That's what I needed. All right, easy as pie. Let's get back home again. 
There's a son. There's a spotter just in the car park where I broke out of car a second ago. Apparently, I ruined his ride. Sorry, buddy boy. But look, you know, you're pretty adapted getting around on all fours. You don't need four wheels. You've got four other things. There we go. Get you started. I can put the rest of this stuff away. We're going to hold on to the radiator this time. I've needed some before and accidentally scrapped them all into brass. So that time, this one rather, can just stay in that box and wait for a rainier day. Vehicle can have the gas. Got plenty of yoom. Uh, I should have some more left over my minibike as well, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I think once that's done, I think I'm ready to go. All of my mods I need for my vehicle are in the minibike too, so that's ready to be salvaged. I reckon I'm good to go. I'm going to start heading down south straight away, pop open this treasure map and see where it's going to send me. Because if I can pop it over down here somewhere, that's going to give me better garbs, and that's all I need right now. Last couple of seconds, give me that bad boy. I've been waiting for you for so long, and I finally have you in my hot little hands. I'm a little bit peckish and a little bit thirsty, actually, from my endeavors this morning. Quickly smash a cheeky taco before we head out for our day's adventures. And a cup of coffee, because real life me is desperate for one. Put you back away. All right, let's swap over the mods and get cracking on. Now, I know I did just say I want to head down to the desert straight away, pop open the treasure quest and see what I could find. But I've got these derpos around the place that potentially have some pretty good stuff in them so i reckon now i can move a bit faster i'll jump on the motorcycle hit seven hit three see what i can find because now i can save so much time heading down south i don't need to be so pedantic about it here we go chuck you down and open you up oh i've got an extra mod slot new as well which means i can go and get the headlight mod that i've oh there's a guy inside my house over there can go and get the headlight mod that I've left back upstairs, which is good. Refuel all the you. Probably get some extra gas from up there as well while I'm at it. Chuck it back in. All right, hold on a jiffy. Look at you, though. Look at you, though. Suiting the purple dye like you wouldn't believe. That's about as sexy as a well-fried marshmallow burning on top of a campfire. That's what you love to see in this world. Dead zombies and sexy riding machines. By the way, speaking of roasted marshmallows, if you're one of those people that cooks the absolute shithouse out of the outside of the marshmallow, peels it off, eats that, then recooks it, I don't want to talk to you. That's the peak way to have a marshmallow. I ain't hearing any arguments to the counter. There we go. We're all good to go. Chuck you in. How fast are you, actually? You are 16 meters per second. That's with the, uh, the supercharger in you as well. So it's an extra two meters a second. That seems worthwhile. 16 on you, and you were only 10, weren't you? You were, so almost double the speed that we were before. Speedy boy out and about on the town. Oh, it's good. It only took me 44 days, but we finally have some decent transportation. This is like where I spawned way back when. Way back, yeah, it is actually. It was like, here it is. It was right on this corner. Here's the original purple sleeping bag. It's always nice when you come back and find your starting area with like the first cube, the campfire, all the stuff you first did in the first four seconds of your life. Always got like tickles that little nostalgia nerve I have in the back of my spine. But not gonna hang around there for too long. I've got things to find. Where is this big orange plume of a drop? I need to know where you are because I need to ravage your insides. Ah, there it is. I was gonna say, I'm not sure how much luck I'm gonna have because I don't know where the drop was. But 700 meters away from where I saw it is basically right on the nipples. So that's pretty bloody bonza. Give me you real fast. What's inside this one? 50 lockpicks and some snacks. Don't mind if I do. Look, you know, it's been a hard morning. I've been out there on the tools, whipping up some transport. I deserve a cheeky snack for lunch. Thank you very much. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Bit early for Smoko. There's a passing gas just there. And for the first time ever, I'm not actually tempted to go and have a squiz about. Mostly because I couldn't handle the idea of finding a motorcycle part now after investing all of those points for potentially nothing. So I'm just going to pretend it's not there, carry on it, and just be happy with what I've got. Where's the hole in the fence? It's over that side. Trying to weave my way through the suburbs. Where's the next one gonna be? It's only number three. I've picked up a lot of derpos along the way, but need to know where this one's gonna be. I saw it from home. Uh, three is number there. So I'm oh, about 700 meters away. So we're right on the money. Should just be just here somewhere. It's around here somewhere. I will find it and I will nab it. I'll be very happy about it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It was right in front of me. Easy as your bloody like. Right on the road. That's nice and convenient. After the last pilot dropped a derpo in the middle of a lake, this one's definitely a bit of a change of pace. Grab you, open you up, scrap armor bundle, and chili dog recipe. All right, fair enough then. I'll open you to see what you got and scrap you all for the iron anyway, because you're no use to me. Easy as. Easy bloody as. All right, I can get rid of that on the map, clean up my life a little bit. Look at that. What a productive morning. 
On my way back home, I'm just gonna have a quick little gander around and see if I can come across any like working stiffs or anything. That's a cool looking building. What are you? I don't even recognize you. I wanna find places that are gonna give me the cobblestone. I need the cobble to make my base because you know, wood, cobble, concrete goes in that order and I'm lacking one very important step there. What is this place? I've immediately got distracted. It's like sewers and stuff in the way. I, don't, I, I wanna know. It's a working stiffs system which I think I've been through before, but I don't know, you've caught my fancy now. I'm thoroughly distracted by that. Just gonna park up my bike in the spot at the front. Prime parking, taking advantage of <laughs> all the tenants moving out. So what is this place? Is it like a remnant or is it like a proper POI? That door's locked. Make sure my guns are nice and reloaded because I'm probably gonna get into some pretty serious trouble before too long. Ooh, it's an auto place? Okay, auto place and a meltdowns. For some reason, it makes me feel like there's muffins inside here, and I am keen for a cheeky muff. But real quick, let me just rinse you clowns. I get the welcoming party. I appreciate it. If you brought a casserole or anything, really, I'm all for it. But you got to leave it on the bench and not just try to throw it in my face. There's also this that I've just kind of, like, wound up next to. There's a vault door there, which is making me think there might be something worthwhile in there but i've come for this thing i'll check that one in a second i can't get distracted by everything all the time sometimes i have to stay at least a little bit on task just for a moment or two just to try and get some things done is there an awaiting for me there's some cobble over there a car an engine and a radiator mm, don't let your guard down josh oh god that's why because they're gonna come out of the bloody ceiling I'm not gonna take my XP goggles off. I'd rather just roll and get whatever loot is given to me. I'm still in the pine forest, so not expecting a whole lot of much out of here. Just wanna satiate my curiosity just that little bit to see what is on offer. Always check the shelves. Nothing there. Just a bit of iron, which I'm okay with. I'll scrap it down. I do run out of having short iron pipes quite a lot, so I probably shouldn't. Can't help myself though. It's free iron. I'm not gonna say no. This is all very close quarters, which makes me very on edge, but I have to put my faith in the SMG that can spit enough rounds to keep me safe through thick and thin. I just don't trust the walls now. You know you've got problems when you don't trust solid brick walls, because as soon as you start thinking, oh, nah, it's fine, there's nothing there, that's when some random Jeffrey jumps out and clobbers your nose. Oh, God. Oh. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You're just walking through, thinking you're safe, and sure enough, that's when they take advantage to come down and drop on you like the most savage of drop bears. Clearly, I haven't been having a Vegemite lately, and they got the best of me. Can I get up there and have a little squeeze around? Anything up there waiting for me? No bags, no nothing good. All right, fair enough then. God damn, I hate zombie jump scares so much. Quickly just make short work of you, the Yeti and the crossbow. A tale as old as time, but the weights are finally changed on that pineapple. Give me you, turned you into a unicorn. Anything else? No, not really. I can hear some beating down on the ground level, which is not too comforting, but we'll get there in a bit. Grab that cobble while I'm here too. That is, after all, <laughs> the main reason of what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, the fog's cleared as well. It's working stiffs. I've been there... I might have to go and just raid some more places down. Oh, I see it. I see it. Down to the south. See what we can find down there. That was a corker of a shot, though. There's no loot for me up on the roof, but this actually feels like a bigger POI than just a remnant. So there should be something somewhere for me. I guess I'm going back down. Okay. One of those complex POIs are more difficult than they first appear. Oh, wow, I'm a long way up. All right, never mind. Stay out of the elevator shaft before you somehow still manage to break your ankles. If there's a will, Josh, you will find a way. Oh, I see you. Just got to use my 9 mil ammo while I've got enough of it. That's where I just came from. That's fine. I punched down that door a second ago. Nothing with you. Always check the bookshelves as well for... Still nothing. There's never anything in there. I've been in this building before. I'm not sure if it was in this playthrough or when, but I've definitely been here before this feels very familiar it's one of those weird things they're like i have a memory of this place i just don't know what that memory actually is i'm sure someone much smarter and better at memory than i will uh remind me grab you Ooh, cheeky safe in the corner got lots of lock picks so all right don't mind if i do still got some explosive charges what well, have explosive charges just the recipe for them 
Either way, I can get some bombs going at some point, which I wouldn't mind. But in the meantime, I'm just going to fiddle with the lock for a little bit. I should have just used the pickaxe. I should have just used the pickaxe to get into this thing. But I'm committed now. I refuse. I have to get in there. I've only got a couple of seconds left. Oh, please. Oh, please. For goodness sake. That one didn't even give me the countdown. That was like I looked at the lock and it broke. For goodness sake. It's a bloody wall safe. How are you giving me this much fucking trouble? All right, fine. Fine. Have it your way. Oh, I hate safes. There. See? Should have done it in the first place. Would have saved myself a whole lot of time and angst and effort. It was all for nothing anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was... I'm pretty sure that was sunny like two seconds ago. But all right, I guess the weather changes frightfully quick in this neck of the woods. Down we go. Down to here. Ooh, any cheeky coffees for me? Thank you, lads. Thanks for looking out for me. Always good to know someone out there is brewing a fresh pot. We must be coming up to the end of this POI sometime soon. It didn't look like a particularly big one, which is why I decided to raid there. Oh, God. Nice and quickly. But instead, it's taken half the day and half the ammo just rinsing all the clowns who are waiting for me. Still looking pretty good, though. Got lots of inventory space. Uh, anything of interest here. The desks are usually interesting for... Something. Not what I'm after, though. Check the filing cabinets for nothing. Why do I even bother? I have to do it, though, because the ones I don't check, I guarantee you will have valuable schematics. But every time I check the ones I do look at, it only gives me paper. We're still making our way down. There's my motorcycle. Almost back to the bleeding car park that I pulled up into not too long ago. We're at the bottom of the elevator shaft now as well. What is this place? Oh, I see you. Hang on. Is that? You are shitting me. You are shitting me. Look at what that's been caught on. That was a good nut. It was going straight into the back of his tricep. And the game is like, nah, mate. Bloody nah, mate. Gotta find a window opportunity that doesn't have anything in it. Despite the fact it's clear freaking air. Ah, <sighs> fine. Fine game. Fine game. You do your thing. I'll do mine. <sighs> it's just a kick in the dick sometimes. There's a ladder down. Oh, I see. Uh, a ladder down to another level. Put you on another level while I'm at it, sir. Slice and dice and to finish the job. Oh, I thought I saw a shadow moving and I panicked there for a second, but it's fine. It's all good. We're all okay. Check the bookshelf for any of Nancy's light reading. Although the book that she's getting devolved into. Not sure I want to stick my nose into those ones. We're pretty sticky. Either way, check your other bookshelf soon. Still nothing there. All right, let's just get this done. It's already half past five. God, I thought I was making really good time after those derpo runs this morning, but now, now the day's almost gone, and my plan of getting cobblestone hasn't gone anywhere. Looks like we're almost down to the ground level. I'm coming for those muffins. You promised me a blueby muffin, and I haven't been rewarded with that yet, so I'm here for my payments. Uh, I'll scrap you, actually. Can't really chuck in anything, other, uh, anything else that's meaningful. Another elevator shaft, a little bit sketchy. Or is, So is there something secret in the other elevator shaft? That's often where the game likes to hide some things. So it might be worth a little gander at that before too long. That goes down to ground level. That can't go up. So do I go that way or do I go down? Mm, I'm not really good at going down, so I guess I'll go this way. If I have to go down later, well, it's just going to be disappointing for everyone. That was quick. That was good. Finish you off. Anyone else? No, nah, we're fine. Whew, okay. Can't be hiding around corners like that. It's scary. Oh, guess I gotta go down regardless of what I actually wanted to do, so... <laughs> Not your best move. Not You fell like a fucking ton of bricks. That was rather impressive how badly you managed to get your feet one in front of the other. Ooh, some good loot down here, though. We've got a locked chest, got some working stiffs, savage country, and uh, food. And a weapons bag. All right. Turns out this place is much better than I thought it was going to be. You know, love. You guys could all just make an orderly line out from behind the desk over there and come and lick the tip of the SMG. That would be wonderful. So good. So good. How is the SMG just so freaking good? Well, now I need to know. Now I need to know what the other way had in store for me because it was definitely, yeah, a different route. Ah, the taste of the other elevator shaft. Oh, that's a little bit sketchy. Gotta get my noggin taken off for that bad boy. A little bit sketchy, but as I said, secrets in the bottom of the, uh, the elevators. Take you. Nothing else. All right. Easy as. Quickly check people's mail. 
I know it's a crime, but listen, who's going to come after me? A big fat cop? That's fine. SMG's got his covered. Quickly pop open the hardened chest on the first crack as well, making up for all of the lockpicks I wasted on the uh, the wall safe upstairs. Pop open all of you. Easy as. I've got my looting specs on. No looting candy. It is only the pine forest, so not expecting much. Aloe cream. I can actually turn you into first aid bandos now, which is definitely a blessing. Check all of you along here. I'll take the ammo. I don't need rifle parts, so don't piss off. Ooh. I'll scrap you, but once upon a time, that would have got me very excited. Still tickles me a little bit every time I find you. Learning elixir, thank you. Ch it's not a blueberry muffin. A blueberry pie. Well, it's close enough, I suppose. I'll still nosh you down like a hungry boy. Uh, I don't need one ear of corn. And what's in you? Uh, four grip mod, I'll take you. I'll read that one. Don't need rifle parts, but I'll take the rest of you. Easy as. Cheers, big ears. All right, let's get out of here and see actually what was in that silo next door. So where was it? It was around this side. Yeah, that one there. Got like the water tower up above. Is this like... There's all these like these sewers here that I haven't really gone through before. Is this all connected? Is this all part of the same place? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll grab you though because cobble is what I'm here for. Hmm, this could be dicey. This could be dicey or very interesting or somewhere in between. <laughs> Good one, Josh. Of course it's got a bloody ears. You are unlocked, though. I I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am or what to expect. Is this the top of the tower? Seems it is. Some zombies trundling about downstairs. Not much really else to speak of, though. All right. Not, not as interesting as I thought it was going to be. Oh, here we go. I just followed the ladder down. So it does actually take me down into the sewers okay well i'm here now i'm stuck in the molasses god i hate the water physics in this bloody game what are you you're a savage country box that sounds close owls don't mind me that sounds very close i don't like it i'd rather go loud with the smg and deal with whatever comes for me than try and oh god try and go quietly and drown in the super death no, it's just someone outside coming from me. Okay, let's just make this quick then. Time's ticking away. I don't have all that much time left over. I'm gonna chuck my XP gogs back on and just go as quickly as I can. That uh, tunnel's half closed off. Keep on going, keep on running. No, no one here. Okay, that's fine. All right, one, <laughs> one here. Cheeky clean double tap on Arles and I feel no shame about it at all. It's just so good. It's just so good. It's so controllable. I'm very glad I got rid of the, um, what was it? The, uh, like, the, the Sprods mod, the full auto mod that I had on the SMG made it basically unusable. Hey, look, it's the cop I was worried about before. Wait for it. Wait. All right. Stay right. I said wait for it, but not quite like that. There. Hang on. Hang on. I forgot to load. Oh, that was right in several of your chins. You should have died from that. There we go. Today has gone a little bit differently to how I initially planned. Chuck all of you into there. Do I even need that triple storage pocket mod? I found it. I've got triple in you. I've got max inventory. Is there any doublers left over doing nothing? N no. In fact, if I take, I'll take you off for a second, actually. Does that... I still need you. Okay, fair enough. I thought maybe I had one too many, but no, it's fine. Nothing in my boots, so we're all good to go. Let's get home. God, it looks good in purple. It really bloody does. Let's get home and try and just weigh up my options again. I need to go and build that horde base. I really do. So, okay, tomorrow I'm not getting distracted. I got distracted today by cool looking buildings, and I stand by that because looting's half the fun. But tomorrow I need to put all of my looting needs aside. I need to turn down the loot fiend to maybe just like 110% and try and go find myself some cobblestone. I need it. I need it badly. I can't put it off anymore. I think actually, just thinking back to what I've seen on my various adventures, I think there were some of those big uh, construction site POIs. Like the construction site, sky construction site skyscraper POIs down in the desert town down here, wasn't them? Or was it just one of those, like, those mini construction sites that have the crane that, like, lure me into, th into thinking there's more resources there than there actually is? Because that's where I want to be. That's got so much cobblestone in it. That's where I want to go to find my bountiful harvest. But either way, there's still a lot, like, up the top here I haven't gone to as well. Even, like, farms and stuff have some pretty good gubs. I reckon... 
I mean, what am I hanging out here for? There's actually nothing for me here really at all. I reckon it's time I start moving some of my more important resources down to the other desert base. Either the town hall or the cathedral. Probably the town hall, actually. That's already got, like, the workbench and various other storage and stuff there already. So, I reckon... Give me you. Give me all of you. Give me the sand as well. Give me the stones. Do I just take the cement mixes with me, actually? I don't want to move out of my apartment building entirely because I love this place. But also, it's not really doing much for me right now. I've grabbed my cement mixes. I've got most of the stuff. I was just kind of grabbing some ammo and things so I don't have to come back and grab the non-essentials. But I was looking at these steel arrowheads. I'm pretty low on iron crossbow bolts. So it might be time. I think you take polymers and is it feathers? Do you still take feathers for that? No. No, the polymers. What do you need? Is it wood? How about you just look it up, Josh? If only there was a way directly in front of you for you to see what you need. That's it. That's all it is. It's polymers and arrowheads. All right, easy bloody peasy. Then let's just whip up a couple of those bad boys ready for the next stage of my adventure. Box of bolts. Nice and efficient. Love to see it. Grab two of you and turn the... Oh, I only had three left over. That's really bloody bonza. Get you cracking away. Nice, nice. Okay, is there anything I'm leaving behind that I actually need? Iron and stuff can stay up here. I might actually get that on the smelt before I go. That's the smart crickets. I mean, I can make cobble out of uh, clay soil and stone, but I need the clay to make steel, which I'll need later on. So I need to make sure that's smelting away before I go. Mmm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually leaving anything important behind. There's just so much stuff here. I'm going to change over the two-time scope to a red dot site on my magnum. But how does it look first? How does it look before I get too attached to it? Ooh, you're like a nice holographic. Mmm, that's much nicer. Much nicer than the two times scope. I tried to download, uh, there's a mod that got released not, not long ago that does the thing I was talking about where it had stopped the scope looking like this. You can still have, like, peripheral vision. I tried to install it. It didn't work out for me, but one day I'll get that thing to work at some point. You can go back into them. Got all the mods in case I find myself some better armor while I'm down there as well. I think I'm pretty sorted. I'll chuck all this into the bike and take some extra stuff if I need to, but I think I'm right to go. Make sure I grab all my Horde Knight Gubbins as well, because I'll need those when I fight the next Horde down in the Wasteland. Probably don't need the uh, empty glass jars and stuff, though. I can leave those behind. Plus, like, everything's in the motorcycle. I've got plenty of room left over. I just don't want to leave anything behind now and then ruin it in the next couple of days, because despite having a better bike now, it's still a long-ass drive to get back here. Someone out there who's much smarter than me needs to tell me, like, how long a 6,000 stack of iron will take to spell. Because I never know. I know I could do the math and figure it out, but I'm just, I'm just not going to do that, to be perfectly honest. So, just going to wing it and say, let's go, like, 80 minutes. Sure, that seems about right. Smelt that into there. Turn you on. That's why I have these wooden blocks, purely for fueling purposes. Uh, if I grab you, if I grab you and also the lead and chuck you into this one... You don't have a whole lot of clay, but I can get the rest of you going and looking nice and happy for when I come back to you later on. That's where I can make myself some ammo and stuff like that, which is always good. I mean, yeah, it can smelt away while I'm gone. The screamers might show up, but I'm not too concerned about that if I'm far, far away. Nice. Nice, nice. I think I'm I think I'm all good. I think I'm all good to turn my back on this place for at least a week and go down to the wasteland. That's where I'm headed. That's my new base of operations. It's pretty dicey, though. This could go really badly. Also got a lot of petrol on the burn in the chemistry station as well. I'll come back for that another day if I need it. But I'll, I'll take you with me. Have some fuel down at the desert base would be a good idea. All right. Yeah, I feel good about this. I, feel I probably shouldn't, but I do feel good about this. So I'm going to have to grab my crossbow bolts before I forget about those as well. They're only just done. Nice. I'm going to have to come back and continue this. Mega City's getting dicey. It's day 45. We're only going to day 70, so we're really into, like, the real sticky part of it now. But building a horde base in the wasteland, better loot. Hopefully, I can finally get a Dolce and start getting to the end game stuff and take on probably some demos. I reckon demos are going to be spawning in the wasteland, which is going to be pretty bloody dice. But I'll have to come back and build my demo horde base in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.